Hello. In this video, we are going to use our counting stick to build up our six times table. I've added zero and I've added six tens or 60 onto the counting stick and I've added six because you know it's a six times table. So to start, can you double six for me? Good, double six is 12. So two sixes are 12. Can you double 12? Good, it's 24. So we just need to think about where this 24 should go. That's right, it goes here. When we double 12, we get 24. Two doubled is four. So four sixes are 24, good. How could we work out this number just using the numbers we already have? Good, if we add six to 12, we get this number, or if we subtract six from 24. So 12 add six is 18. 24 minus six is 18. Good, so no matter what strategy you prefer, you'll get the right number. Excellent. Okay, so if three sixes are 18, can we double 18? It's not the easiest number to double. Double 18 is 36. Where should 36 go? That's right. Double three is six. So 36 goes in there. Well done. I can think of three different ways to get this number, just using the numbers we have in our counting stick. Good, we could add six here, we could subtract six from here, or we could half our six tens, half our 60. 24 add six is good, 30. 36 take away six is 30. What's half of 60? Good, so no matter which strategy you prefer, we're gonna get the right answer. Good, okay. Now, let's go back to two sixes. Two sixes are 12. When we double that, we got 24. Could you double it again? It would give you 48, but where would 48 go? Two doubled gives us four. Four doubled gives us eight. So this would give us 48 up here. Six eights are 48. Good. And that is going to help us now to work out this number. Two different ways to work out this one. Good. 36 add 6 or 48 minus 6. Whichever one you do, you should get the answer. 42. Good. One more number to go and I can think of three ways to work out that number. We could add 6 to this one. We could subtract 6 for this from this one. Or if we go right back to three sixes, we doubled it to get six sixes. If we triple that number, it's going to give us nine sixes. No matter which one you choose, 48 add six, 60 minus six, or tripling this number, you're going to get 54. And there it is, we've made the six times table. Let's count through the numbers. Zero, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Good, and go back. 60, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, 6 and 0. Good. But can we do it without the numbers? Let's see. You don't need the 0 and you know it's the 6 times table. And I told you at the start, I thought you would know that one. Let's go. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Good. And go back. 60. 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, 6, 0. Well done. Okay, so we know it's a 6 times table. We know if we double it, we get 12. If we double that, we get 24. If we double that, we get 48. Let's try counting. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, and back again. 60, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, 6, 0. Well done. This is an important number. Three sixes is 18. 18 is the key. It's an important number. What's the key? 18. Let's go. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 
42, 48, 54, 60. And back, 60, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, 6, 0. Good. What was the key? 18. When we doubled it, we got 36. Good. The key was 18. When we doubled it, we got 36. When we tripled it, we got 54. These are tricky numbers to remember. Let's see how we do. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. And back again. 60, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, 6 and 0. Well done. Number in the middle is usually easy to remember. What's the number in the middle? It's 30. Good. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. And back again. 60, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30. 24, 18, 12, 6 and 0. Good. One more number to remember. And you just need to remember it. 42. What number did I take off? 42. Okay, let's go from the start. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Good, I'm back again. 60, 54, 48, 42, 36, 30. 24, 18, 12, 6 and 0. Well done. Keep using your counting stick to practice your six times table.